Rodolfo, in seeking to demonstrate, certainly not prove, but demonstrate the likely existence of God, some very sophisticated philosophers of religion would point to consciousness as a better argument for God, seeing the uniqueness and strangeness of consciousness as, as indicating a higher consciousness, as better arguments than some of the traditional so-called arguments for the proof of God. How do you look upon this argument from consciousness uh, to uh, imply some uh, uh, existence of God? Right. <clears throat> well, um, first of all, what I, what I say is, uh, is something very personal. I, I, it is not my desire or intention to uh, modify anybody's thought. You ask me a question, and all I can do is tell you what I think. Yes. I by no means consider that it's anything other than my view. I have a problem with the idea of God. And the problem with the idea of God that I have is when I thought of it, even when I was first told as a child, God looks like a, looked like a person. It had all of the foibles that people have. Uh, you need to ask. You need to be reverent. You need to pray. You know, and at the same time, they were saying, but God knows everything. You say, well, if he knows everything, why do I have to pray? Said, well, because he wants you to uh, be submissive to him. Said, well, that's very strange because wasn't he who made me? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it doesn't seem to follow. It seems more like this is uh, a, uh, an invention that you produce for me. Uh, which, by the way, you're using to tell me, uh, tell me what to do. It looks like a weapon more than anything else. Uh, it looks like God is a friend that would do favors for you, whom we will never see. I remember saying it is as discreet as God. I've never heard God say anything. So, um, so I had two problems. First of all, I didn't understand these statements, and I was told at some point, child, you were born without faith. And I was saying, well, I was generated by God, so it's not my fault. <laughs> now, I could tell you that I believe when I don't, but I've also been told not to lie, so I don't <laughs> believe that this is the truth. Okay, so uh, the that's, where you start. that's where I started. So Fair. the question is, okay, it never made sense. And then, then I find that there are people like, I don't know, Spinoza, who says, well, you know, um, yes, uh, we have invented God, and God is very much like us, to the point that I, uh, I go to the uh, churches and so on, and I find images of God, and he has a beard, he has a mouth, and he has a mouth, he has to have all the digestive system, and so it, it is very strange. So is that a man, or is that God? If that is the representation of God, how dare you represent God as a man? Is God a man as well? He was made out of image in, uh, to our, uh, it, we are in, made in the image of God. So, so, so are the rest of the simians and so are the rest of the uh, vertebrates. In fact, we all have mouth and yeah. ear. And it, so what is this? So it never made any sense at all. And what did make sense was that God was utilized by religion. So it was a religious product. Mm -hmm. Uh, and religion was very intriguing because it had as its ultimate product something you could only cash, could only get after you die, which makes it a perfect product. So I became rather disillusioned with the not only with the idea of God, but the way that the the way the idea was exploited. So, and then as you proceed with life and you understand more, you understand more and more how it is in fact. Uh, uh, a, a construct, uh, but not as intimate as self. Not it, it is even even more so separated because it's self and not self at the same time. Um, so you know, I have no no possibility of putting it together. So. so from that perspective, how do you view other people when they try to use consciousness as a way to? show that a higher consciousness exists. Well, okay, so they're putting themselves in the following peril. Mm -hmm. 
that at some point, in not to this in future, would understand the nature of consciousness. And then they got, would poofed away, <laughs> would disappear. They could actually, uh, if I were to be in a position where I had to invent a God, I could say, no, no, it's not like that at all. God is everywhere. God is not an entity like us. We are actually a secondary property. I would say it would be so much easier to sell God as the very, very tiny, as the very nature of space. I mean, something completely different. That would be very difficult to get rid of, by the way. So, but I don't need any one of the two.